In today's tech tip, we want to target those of you who currently have machine simulation or are interested in getting machine simulation. Machine simulation is a very important part of GibbsCam, especially when you have a very complex machine. And in today's tech tip, we're going to specifically talk about an aspect of machine simulation called intermediate tooling. We all know that the primary purpose of machine simulation is for us to have a good idea of what's going on inside of our more complex machines. We've chosen this particular machine because it has two spindles, one turret, but it uses the new quad tool holders. Machines that have a generous y-axis can use these quad tool holders and can save valuable space in your turret allowing you to stack other tools in there. We're going to show you how these quad tool holders work and how the new intermediate tooling chucks work. So we're going to go to the tool page, which looks just like any other tool page, except there's a new button here called intermediate tooling. From the intermediate tooling list, once you download it, you can select a tool block from the tool block list. You can place your tools in any one of the four, in this case, any one of the four tool stations, and you can get a preview of that tool group before you even put it on your machine. And again, this one is going to be on top main. So we wanted to show you how this works. We place the tool in top main, and it automatically shows up. Now this quad tool holder has been told automatically by the MDD and the post processor to use all four positions, upper, lower, front, and back. And again, that's controlled by a custom MDD that we would deliver to you in the machine simulation package. And it's also controlled by the post processor. Now let's step back and look at the chucking aspect of intermediate tooling. Many of you have different chucks on the main spindle and the subspindle, and at Camco we have some new content for you regarding intermediate tooling. So when you select a chuck from the list, and let's show you how easy that is, I simply go to Document Control, Intermediate Tooling, and from the list I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to add it again to show you how simple it is. We want to do Camco Auto Chuck 8 inch. And on the sub spindle, we have Camco Auto Chuck 6 inch. So it will automatically be loaded onto your machine. The zero point will be at the front of the jaws. So that when you set up your stock dimensions here, the part will be 2 inches hanging outside of the chuck. Now, Let's look at another aspect of the tooling in that on this intermediate tool, this new chuck from Camco and this chuck from Camco is interactive with the size of the part. I'm going to change the stock size to two. And as you can see, it automatically updates the size of the chuck to match the material that's in the spindle. We hope you enjoyed this tech tip from GibbsCam, and we would like for you to know that if you need some help, if you want to talk to us about machine simulation, intermediate tooling, or any other tech support item, please go to camco-ne.com and click here to call us now.